Hey yo together and very welcome to the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replays! Today with a TV R on Vani Research Station. So this guy was playing random and got served, so it's indeed a TVC. And yeah, spawning as the blue Zerg in the top position of Vani Research Station it is uh, R2 Joe. R2 Joe? R2 Joe. Playing for NOM. And his opponent spawning in the bottom center of any research station. It's me, the Red Terran. Alexa Sher. And I have no clue that I'm playing against a Zerg. So, huh, for me, it's still a riddle. I have no clue. And, whoa. Yeah, you know how much I hated to play against random people playing random. So. There we go, two SCVs pulled immediately, so that looks like a two racks build, maybe a three racks, could be, and I have no clue how good this will work out, because with very good micro and decision making you can pull this one off, and you can deal a lot of damage, don't get me wrong, but it's just a 12 barracks, so the SCV is, uh, was pulled a bit late. He isn't scouting with uh, one drone. Instead, he's getting the hatchery straight away. Okay. So that's good for me, of course, because uh, pool first could be could be difficult. But oh, gas be before pool as well. Yeah, it's a bit greedy, I, th I think. I would say that's greedy. But let's see. I mean, it's not it's nothing over yet. Where's this pool? He needs a spawning pool, there we go. And yeah, he will have to rely depending on when I go in on just the drones. The problem is you can't just go in with like three marines because those drones will get an easy surround on your marines and just kill them. And then the circlings come out and you lose, so... Uh, he wasn't able to scout my main base for now. So he sees the SCV which is already a bit strange. Normally it should be a Reaper coming and not the SCV. Mm, are we getting another barracks? Oh, a third barracks? That's okay. The pool will finish soon and then we will see queens and circlings. So I guess this build is just good versus uh, Terran. Maybe versus Protoss, maybe. Mm, but I can't quite tell. And oh, he does see the SCV there. He doesn't see the bunker. But those circlings are gonna scout it. There you go. Mm. They will attack the. Oh, that's lucky. I have to pull back. So one bunker will get finished, I guess. Uh, it's a bit low, but you can repair that. And now the micro dance begins. Uh, he got a queen. He got a. He's getting a spine crawler. That's exactly what he needs. The spine crawler is good versus marines because the spine crawler not even not not also does he deal a lot of damage. But uh, he got a range of seven, and marines in the bunker only got a range of six. So with the right position, he, he can kill this bunker uh, without any trouble or risk. Oh, that's, that's close. He has to be so careful. If he loses the hatchery, that could be really bad for him. He needs to wait for speed and it's quite risky here. Uh, circling speed will finish soon. The spine crawler finished. Uh, he loses some circlings there. Oh, the spine will take a lot of damage. He will sacrifice a lot of circlings there in order to get the Spine down, but he succeeds and speed finishes as well. And now I'm in the defensive, and he can work down there. The only good thing is I could get a uh, command center on my own and try to, yeah, macro myself into a good position because as soon as I lose the sp those bunkers, I got a lot of trouble. And it looks like he's going in. He should wait. Yeah, he really should wait. Oh, nice transfuse there. Uh, loses one, two more uh, circlings there. And now he all ins this bunker. I'm not sure if he will get it. The marines 
are not enough, the bunker falls and the CVs are gone as well, so... But I guess the spine crawler is enough to defend this with the circlings. And the hatchery survives, so good defense there. And those marines will just die for no reason. Yeah, that's not good, so... Barracks are lifting and coming back. And I guess the game will normalize now. You see the command center? Very late. I should have gotten this way early. And you can see the army supply is none. Zero against 14. He got the circlings. If he would have gotten more gas, he could go for banelings, busted, and kill me straight up. But for now, he just got circlings. Not the best surface area to attack those supply depots, so he is dealing damage. Real damage, so I have to repair those supply depots, which costs me a lot of money, but he won't break through. Hmm. But it gives him time to get an expansion himself. Attack and expand, that's, that's the important thing. Whenever you attack, try to get down an expansion. And that costs me a lot of money. Those circlings are so annoying, I don't... It's, it's sad that it doesn't show up resources lost at the repairing. That would be interesting. I guess he shouldn't pull back with all those serplings. He could have dealt way more damage. It's just one marine. And with that one marine I guess I can't just simply take out everything. But that's it's his decision, right? Oh, there's a third command center as well. And harvester wise, I'm looking quite good now compared to him. So not too bad. There are. It looks like I'm going for hellions. Lifting all those barracks, sure a mistake. I guess. Maybe not. Yeah. And the second factory, so it could be the case that we see blue flame hellions. Blue Flame Hellions are great against Circlings and are great against Drones. So maybe this could turn the game again into my favor. But we have to wait and see. Huh, so we got four barracks it looks like. And two factories, so that's not a normal setup for a TVC. But the start of the game was also not quite normal, so it should be fine. Uh, drone count. He should drone up a little bit more. Uh, he got... How many queens? Four queens. His creep spread is just now starting. He needs to get his uh, injects done. There we go. Nice. So we see the lair, there's a blue flame and the stim pack. That's good. Infernal pre-igniter, also known as blue flame. I guess I should get more gases, there we go. And I'm not getting the gold mineral base. I'm quite supply capped, that's not good. So I can't produce any more SCVs. I can't produce hellions, which I need that urgent. And he's getting a roach one, so R2, R2 Joe. Nice wall with the revolution chambers. Uh, Roach wall, so this will help against Hellions. I guess he should get an Overseer. Uh, those Hellions are making their way into... Oh, those Circlings mm, have to be so carefully, they take a lot of damage. Not even getting one Hellion. And a lot of Circlings died there, so that was imp uh, quite expensive. Uh, there's no queen to block, blue flame finishes, but I'm not moving in. Not moving into the main base, I could have gotten into that and kill a lot of stuff. Uh, with, yeah, with that many hellions, 10 hellions at all. I can move in, split those into five, or two groups out of five, and kill a lot. But now with the roaches and the queen, I guess the window closed again. Uh, there are some marines coming, but marines are not good against roaches. They are not bad, but I mean, I got 
19 marines versus 18 roaches. So unless the splash of the Hellions is phenomenal, there's no way for me to win this battle. Especially because I got no uh, starport ready for the medivac, so I can't lift and go back. Uh, I'm slipping in, but those are just too many roaches there, so it looks like I'm sacrificing all those marines for nothing, but those Hellions could make their way into the main base. Oh, those Hellions, those Zerglings. Now I'm at the ramp, killing more and more Zerglings, 99 Zerglings. And how many workers will I be able to kill? Four so far, which is not really good. Five, six? That's not a good amount. The Blue Flame Hellions. Eight? Ten? Eleven? Oh! Eleven worker down. I mean, it, it helped a little bit, but it wasn't the real successful stuff there. It was, it was okay, but not really good. I could have gotten way more damage. The only important thing is, I got plus one finished, and plus two plus one is on the way. And he got no... No carapace upgrade. Oh, he got... Three evolution chambers, that's nice. If you can, I mean he got the gas, you can do that. Uh, he's getting the... The hive quite early, compared to how the game went, 60 minutes is early. For this game at least. And there are roaches, the bunkers are finished and there's one tank. He sees it and backs up immediately. I would do the same, you don't want to attack into that with an upgrade disadvantage. And yeah, bunkers and a siege tank. He should get a bit better creep spread. His creep spread is okay. He didn't connect with the natural with his main base. The overlord spread is okay. But could be better, right? Here one overlord, there an overlord. Uh, there may be a circling. I guess he could get the gold base. At least he's spending his money and we see the Ultralisk cavern going down. Super fast Ultralisk, uh, so he's not getting for Mutalisks, but Ultralisk with the Adrenal Glands for the Circlings and the plus two plus two. Uh, and I just have Marines for now, I don't know, I'm getting more barracks, but... and another Starport. So I assume it's Roach Hydra, but that's definitely not the case. I don't know what the starport is doing for me. I could go for Banji. Banjis would be so awesome. You got no anti-air whatsoever. Just a few queens. You got no Hydralisks. No Mutalisks. No Spire. Yeah, I guess a three starport Banji transition right now could straight up kill him. Bye-bye, uh, uh, Changeling. So he's getting the uh, Chitinous Plating. Really nice. Some Ultralisks. Uh, but the supply speaks a lot. 91 drones is a bit too much. You should uh, morph some of them into spines and spores, I guess. Army supply. Oh, banelings, 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 carefully. But with the tanks, that's a mix. That, that's, that's mech and bio. That, you see that very rarely, but it's strong. With the lack of Mutalisks, this composition is quite strong, but we got Ultralisks. And there are four more coming, and I guess as soon as the upgrades finish, as well as the Ultralisks, he will attack and try to kill this army, which he definitely can. The Ultralisks are strong, but he needs to wait for Chitinous Plating. Okay, this is Marines, not that much, but... Mm. Oh, this drop. This double drop there. Ooh, he's losing a lot of drones, I guess. And those drones are coming back at the same time. He's just rolling over this army, but all oh, those drones, no! Well, that's one way to lower your drone count, but it wasn't good at all. His income, not the best either. Uh, and he's on three base now as well. There's a one big attack coming. He's morphing some banes. He got plus two, plus two, but can he attack into this production, uh, into, into this base? The Armorada, which are the focus fire, so good versus the Ultralisk, look at that. And those Banes won't finish, eh, they will, but 
Ah, oh, Marauder is so good. Unless you're mismicroing them like I do. Focus fire right there. Ah, this bunker stands strong and the rest as well. Yeah, that's it, GG. With the drop, it was his last ditch effort. I guess he should have not attacked and just back up, get his creep spread done, go for his f f uh, fourth base again, and try to macro up, get a bank, attack, trade your army, get a remax, and attack again. Ah, <sighs> difficult. He also should have gone with some circlings in right here to get the tank fire on those circlings and eventually on those SCVs. And then set up a flank right there so you, that you got a really big concave so that I can't simply micro from left to right and left to right and right to left and stuff and back and forth. Yeah. Great, that was a crazy replay. So you see 12 barracks, 3 rex proxy versus sir can work with better micro and better decision making. I could have killed the hatchery there. That would have been huge, but the focus wasn't the best, so the hatchery survived. <sighs> nice. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you see us next time again. Mm, as always, thank you so much for watching. And I wish you a very nice day and...